The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon and Paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Mosinzio. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Mosinzio, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by me and most and has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Girls Missing by me and most and available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support us at themikewagnershow.com. Also support our program on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. And if you want some great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. And for more great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash me and most and order today some pop sockets, t-shirts, hoodies, and also some great books by me and most and So go to amazon.com today slash me and most and order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is a world-renowned addiction consultant, and he overcame homelessness, al- alcoholism, also trauma, and a whirlwind events. And he's uh, 
That's known as the Gordon Ramsay at the ejection treatment world. He used to be a bass player at Abbey Studios, uh, played with Queen, David Bowie, Elton John, and more. He attended Oxford University to pursue psychology. And um, he also talks about his, um, his, uh, his, wonder, his terrific program in overcoming addiction and a lot more. And it's, a, and it's a recovery group, and he'll be happy to talk about it. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios, deep in the heart of Texas, the very, very multi-talented, and he'll tell it like it is, Dr. Rob Kelly. Dr. Rob, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Good afternoon, Mike. Good to be here. Looking forward to it. Going to be excited. Yes, I'm very excited for you as well, too. I mean, you've got an amazing story that uh, you're a world-renowned addiction consultant. You also also overcame homelessness. You also overcame alcoholism. You also overcame trauma. And also, you survived the, survived the whirlwind events. And you've been pretty much dubbed the Gordon Ramsay of the addiction uh, treatment world. And you've been a bass player at the Abbey Road Studios in London. You play with Queen, David Bowie, Elton John, and more. You attended Oxford University for pursue psychology. And um, you also um, base it on um, the four principles as well, too. I'll talk about your philosophy and the um, Rob Kelly Recovery Group. And you've been on a, a number of stations. And um, we, we love to hear what you have to say and what to do about you know, like addiction and everything else. And before we get into all that, tell us how I first got started, Rob. Just started for me at the age of nine, my alcoholism. You know, I took a drink. I was uh, thrown on stage with the musical family at the age of around nine. So my first drink was nine. My uncle gave me half a beer. And uh, the moment I took that half a beer, I knew that my life would be different. It's crazy how such an early age I knew something was was different to me. Because I ask friends now, I go, remember you take your first beer? And they go, yeah, it was like seven or eight. I said, what was it like? Horrible. I spat it out. It was terrible. Not for me. It changed my whole being. So that's when it started. And uh, it, it gradually over the years, obviously got worse and worse and worse because it's a progressive illness. And then all sorts of shenanigans, going to say that on uh, March the 17th today. <laughs> it, it, it's okay to say shenanigans. You can say whatever you want. I mean, I, it's no whole bars for you. That's all I can say. It's no whole bars. So go ahead. <laughs> Excellent. And then it just got worse and worse. And, you know, through my childhood, through my teens, um it just alcohol was the, the go-to thing for me um uh, and a lot of people have go-to things for me it was alcohol it was always alcohol every time and in the early stages when i was drinking alcohol i was succeeding mm -hmm. so why why would i stop if every time i went to occasion or went for an interview or anything i drank alcohol before and i got the position i'm thinking well this was it you know i'm gonna huh, drink till ever Wow. Back in the day, you take a drink, you get the job, take a drink, you get the job. Sometimes I wish I had done that, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because what it tells my mind is it's OK. And this is a, the way to success. So that's what I did. I continued drinking most of my life. Mm -hmm. and, and also, too, when it came to, um, you know, alcohol and everything that um, that you said it was pretty much uh, pretty much a go to that. Was, was that considered like a necessity for you to uh, calm down like that? Or was it just a. Uh, just peer pressure. No, it, well, at the beginning it was peer pressure, and then very quickly into my teams, it became a Friday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, necessity for me. And then as the years went on, it became every day, completely mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when did you realize that this is a serious problem, and you started to get help? You know, I never got help through the marriage, through the children, through all the violence, through the through all the craziness in the house outside became homeless a year on the street. And then I realized I had a problem after mm -hmm. all that happening. You would have thought from day one, but it just wasn't like that for me. Mm -hmm. He also played bass as well too at Abbey Road Studios. He played with Queen, David Bowie, Elton John and all that. And uh, tell us a bit about that. What's it like playing with those guys? Well, first of all, I got, I got an audition when I was about 16, I think. And uh, this is the typical me. I, I stood outside the studio and thought, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Let's have a beer before I go in. So I did. Went home, got the letter. A week later, I got through the first, got a second audition, went back, drank two beers for my second audition. I had seven auditions, so seven beers was the last day I went in there, passed the thing. So I went back again and, and uh, started to play just session music and session scores wherever they came up. And then the, the big name started to roll through, and I got kind of a name for myself and – it was, it was awesome. I mean, it was just absolutely awesome. One of the most beautiful guys I've ever met in the world was, 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 uh, was Freddie, Freddie Mercury. It was just, we spent a lot of time together, sat down in what they call the green room, 
just chatting about everything till the early hours. You know, it was just wow. fantastic, man. Yeah, really good man. But it was it was an honor, first of all. But uh, obviously, as you work there longer and longer, it's, it is a job. It is pressurized. You know, you've got three or four minutes to lay down a track with hardly any mistakes because they're paying the big bucks. So uh, that's what I did. But it was enjoyable. And the after parties that went on, you know, he always to the best nightclubs, to the best hotels with these guys. It was just never paid for anything whatsoever. And I just saw a different side of the world I brought up in because I brought up on what English know as a council estate and what Americans know as the projects. That's where I grew up. There was no silver spoon in my mouth when I grew up. In mm. fact, the Abbey Road days paid for my college. That's the only way I would have got through. And that happened through Freemason contacts. It was nothing that I would ever do, but I'm an alcoholic. And if anybody understands alcoholism out there, you'll know that it's either all or it's nothing for me. There's no, you'll never find me doing anything mediocre. Mm -hmm. I'm either top of the class or I don't touch it at all. Mm -hmm. Explain the Freemason contacts as well to you brought up an interesting point. Yeah, you know, early at school again, I don't know how young I was. I was, you're not supposed to go into your 18, but I got in a little sooner because they were, they were freaking out that they'd not had a keyboard player for three years. And a friend of a friend was in there. They took me along. I played the keyboard for them. They loved it. They, no one blackballed me. I got in and uh, went straight to the organist as I, as I got into the thing. So it, it was amazing. I mean, just the people in there, different class to me. I always felt like an imposter within the lodge. But uh, I grew and grew into the upper class and uh, was earning uh, very, very serious money. And uh, life, life was good, man. I tell you, from where I come from, you know, where you're scrambling on a Friday night, you mom and dad scrambling to get some food, you know, because you've not been paid until Saturday. I mean, that, that to have like a million dollars is, is unbelievable. And, and, and I like that. I like being rich. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Don't like being poor. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, who wants to be poor these days, to be honest with you? It's like, who doesn't want to be poor? Yeah. And, and of course, I was just thinking about it as well, too. You're talking about Freddie Mercury. Um, have you seen the movie of Bohemian Rhapsody? And what were your thoughts of it? Uh, did it actually, if you did see it, did it accurately predict uh, Freddie Mercury as is, or were there some flaws to it? There were some flaws, obviously. I mean, when they got back together just before uh, the big concert, that wasn't true. They'd been together for a year or so. Uh, the actual uh, portrayal of Freddie himself was exactly what I, I saw. You know, it was a lost soul. It was very kind, very generous, very flamboyant. But when you got him in a room on your own, when everyone else had gone to sleep and talked to him, man, I could listen to that guy for ages. He used to call me Robbie Darling. Robbie Darling. He always, <laughs> yeah, he used to always call me all the time. A Robbie Darling in that, in that crazy voice. But such a sweet man, such a terrible loss. Mm -hmm. That was a very terrible loss, a big loss in music world as well, too. You also play with David Bowie and Elton John. And what's it like playing with those two legends? You know, David Bowie passing on, but Elton, he just keeps going and going and going. Uh, David Bowie was a great guy. Didn't say much to me, uh, though he was, in, he, was in the, uh, he was in the mixing area when I was, when I was laying some bass tracks down. Uh, but uh, Elton John, oh, my goodness. Let me just tell you now about Elton John. So we're in the studio one night and we're, we're playing and it's a terrible night. It's raining, thundering and lightning and the rain is pouring down. So about 1 a.m. we called it. We, Elton said, that's enough. So me, the lead guitar player, a couple of uh, minders and six or seven girls went back to his hotel. Now his hotel was the Savoy Hotel in London, most prestigious hotel in the world. And we went up to, or used to be, went up to the penthouse suite. And we're all mixing and doing our stuff. And there's lots to drink and everything else going on. And I hear Elton screaming from the bedroom. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, something's happened. So I walked in the bedroom. And he's actually on the telephone to the receptionist. And he's telling the receptionist that if she doesn't stop the rain and the wind immediately, he'll never book into that hotel again. And that was the world I lived in. It was great. You, you have to experience it to realize how just not real life it is. Mm. It was good. It was good. Oh, my gosh. I can say right now, stop snowing now or we're going to cancel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my no. goodness. And and of course, you know, you, you eventually went from the uh the music world, you went on to Oxford and uh get into um psychology. What influenced you to uh go to Oxford, especially when you earned your own money? And I'm very proud of you that um a lot of people don't do that, you know, actually 
you know, making a living what you did playing the bass guitar at Abbey Studio for these legends. And then you save all that to go to Oxford on your own money and, uh, and go into psychology. Tell us about that transition. What inspired you to go to school, get into psychology? Well, I was, I was interested in the mind for an early age and I was interested in alcoholism. Mm. And I was interested that no one had researched it enough for my liking because the doctor would say, just go to AA or just stop drinking. It's the only self-diagnosed, the only self-diagnosed illness in the world is alcoholism. So I first of all, I wanted to know there's alcoholism in my family. You know, I knew I was drinking a bit too much. So I was just intrigued, you know, what can we do? And I went and did the, the PhD and uh, I wanted more. I knew there was more. So over the last 20 something years, I've been studying evidence-based research into the mind and the alcoholic mind and the effect it has it and what we hear to other people. And it's just absolutely fascinating. And I think I've only just started, to be honest, with the information that I know today. It's just, there's lots more to discover. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, a lot to discover as well too with today's alcoholism and um, you, you know, how is it studied in the past and how does it compare? And do you think it's been, it's been staying the same or you think it's made a lot of progress over the years, people discovering more and solving problems and everything like that. So it's like, do you think it's stayed the same or do you think it's progressed over the years? Definitely progressed. When you think about back in the day, 1930s, 40s and 50s, it was an absolute disgusting word that you never bring up. Plus, they used to lock people like me up in sanitariums for good. I mean, you just never got out. You were crazy oh my as God. far as I'm concerned. So it was only 20 years ago when we started looking. I mean, many, many years ago, there was Carl Jung and some other doctors at Town Hospital that really researched. But again, just touching the edges of it. So leap and bounds over the last 10 years, without mm -hmm. a doubt. Wow, that is amazing. We'll talk about your story and how you overcame homelessness, how you overcame alcoholism. We touched some of that. We'll also touch on some issues like with trauma and the world with events. And then we'll get to your program in just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Girls Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, BuzzBot, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, also on PayPal and Anchor FM. And for great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash the Mike Widener Show. And for more great gift ideas, including t shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and a lot more, and great books by me and Mosin Zia, go to amazon.com slash me and Mosin Zia and order today. We're here with Dr. Rob Kelly of the Rob Kelly Recovery Group here on the Mike Widener Show. And and um, we talked about his amazing background in music as well, too, being a bass player over at Abbey Studios with Queen, David Bowie, Elton John, and, of course, making a great transition from going to music into psychology. And the way to do it is, in order to get the prestigious uh, place like Oxford, all you do is you just save up your money from, from what you're doing as a career and just pay your way. And I mean, that's just fabulous what you did. And not only you, you accomplished that, which is amazing, you also overcame homelessness. We talked about, um, you know, alcoholism you can talk more about that if you like uh trauma and a world and events and um maybe just ways and how you uh, overcame all of that before we uh, talk about your program well you know when i was on the streets i knew that I was done for i knew that was my lot i tried to commit suicide six times on two occasions i succeeded my heart stopped and they brought me back to life on the side of a smelly road so i thought that was my lot and then i had what some people call a spiritual awakening and uh it, i was uh early hours of Monday morning, late Sunday night, about 2 a.m. 
And uh, I dropped down to my hands and knees in a back street in Manchester and started to cry from my belly. I wasn't crying because I lost my children or my wife or my millions of dollars. I was crying because the first time I realized I couldn't stop drinking. And I made a pact with God. I said, if you get me off the streets now, I'll do this. I'll work with other people for the rest of my life. And uh, that's what happened. I said, if there's a gun up there, I can't do this on my own anymore. And the next minute I know somebody's walking around the corner, texts me home, lets me stay there. And, and everything started from there. So I'm a great believer in once you get clean and sober as an alcoholic or addict, you can achieve anything you want to. What you visualize in your head, you can hold in your hand. I've proven it time and time and time again. And that's what I've done. I've taken the next level. I went back to Southampton. I took a second PhD in behavioral science because I knew the behavioral part of the disease was missing. So with that, with that qualifications and the determination that I had, I set about a program, first of all, that would really go into the scientific uh, part uh, and the behavioral part of the addiction. And then I created the Rob Kelly Recovery Group when I came here about, uh, I think it's 14 years ago now, and I came out here for two weeks only. I came to Dallas for two weeks only to speak at a church regarding crack cocaine to their youth ministry. And uh, the minute I put my foot down on the tarmac at DFW, I just knew that I was never going to go home again. And this was my country. So, which was awesome because this time or just before last week, I became a U.S. citizen. Our congratulations. Yeah, We're so good. to have you in America. We're so Ooh, happy to have you on board. Such amazing. I don't know why I lived it that long, but I mean, the occasion itself would brought me to tears. It's like, because when I first came here, I would say, well, if you just get married, you could, you could get a green card easily. And I'm like, no, I, I respect the United States of America so much. I will wait and, and pay money, about 10000 to become a green card holder, a permanent resident. And then I got married. I mm. was very adamant about that. You know, my country is U- USA, period. Mm-hmm. And, and that's where I am. And, and of course, you know, there's a lot of questions out there now about uh, how to do legally get in the country. There's many people coming in illegal and it's been a big problem here in the United States. And uh, maybe you can just explain to everybody, how do you legally get into the United States? Well, first of all, you come over on a visa and that lasts about 90 days. Within them 90 days, you can apply for your permanent resident card. Uh, if you're from England, I don't know why, but it, mine went through real quickly because of my background. Once you have that, you've got to be, now don't quote me on the, t- on, the, on the years, guys, if you're listening, but I think it's either three or five years as a permanent resident. After that, you can apply to become a citizen. And what you have then is you have a period of time waiting and then you go in, you sit the exam. There's 120 questions. You need to get 10 of them right. And it's the history. I mean, it's absolutely everything about the US. So the studying is pretty hard. And then you do a written test, a verbal test. And then if you're good enough, they give you the thumbs up. So they gave wow. me the thumbs up. And, and then a couple of weeks later, I went back for the ceremony, which was just heartwarming. That is amazing. And you said there's 120 questions. You need to just get 10, right? Yeah, they'll ask, you, they'll ask you 15 questions or 20 questions out of the 120. And you just need to get, I think it's 10, right? I'm not, I think oh, it's 10. wow. Okay. Because I thought you had to go through um, a whole written test of 120 questions. I was going to say no. that's easy, but I'm yeah. glad you just clarified it that's just something wow <laughs> yeah and it's a verbal one as well and then you do your handwriting so he'll give you a sentence a dog sat on a mat and you have to write and if, as long as you can write english you're good okay well welcome to the united states and i'm sure elton john uh you know gave you a little hand on that or maybe i'll push i'm sure i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> And of course, you know, we'll talk about your, um, your, your group as well, too. And what are the principles? We'll do that in just one minute. Listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. And brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international war wing author, Mia Mosenzia of Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with Dr. Dr. Rob Kelly of the Rob Kelly Recovery Group after this timeout. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. 
it's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbeam, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with Dr. Rob Kelly, world-renowned addiction consultant, and also uh, head of the Rob Kelly Recovery Group here on the Mike Wagner Show. Talked about his um, his background in music and uh, how you overcame homelessness, alcoholism, and trauma, and a whirlwind events. And he's in the United States right now, a very proud citizen. And talk about the Rob Kelly Recovery Group, and um, you know, once again, just a bit up of the Rob Kelly Recovery Group. And there's also four principles as well: two fear-based thinking, one-on-one addiction recovery, behavior study. An obstructed living environment. Those are principles, and um, you know, f- feel free to uh, tell us about it. And um, I- and how does one person, um, you know, get into the program? Well, it's a great program. It has a ninety-seven percent success rate, as opposed to ten percent where other people are. Uh, we base it on fear. The program we base it on uh, real life. It's a daily hour a day. That's all it is. And uh, we use neuroscience, neurolinguistic programming. Uh, we use neuroplasticity to work on and uh, behavioral uh, and we take you through this course and uh, you the, the drink problem goes and then we teach you how to live because the alcohol is easy to stop anybody can stop drinking can you stay stopped are you happy that you have you've ever been in your life that's where we need to get and and with with so many years behind me and six and a half thousand patients now uh, i'm pretty confident that we're doing it right somewhere and so we kind of make it enjoyable and the other thing I wanted to do when I started my company is I remember back in the old days, Sunday evening was a terrible night for me because it was like, oh, I've got work tomorrow morning. So we wanted to create a, a, a company that when people went to bed Sunday night, they went, yes, I've got work tomorrow. So that's what we do. <laughs> you know, we make it happy. We get, we take. We take the staff out Friday for a, a feel good Friday, we call it. And we pay for everything that they want, you know, saunas, massages, haircuts, nails. And then we just we just try and be happy. I mean, it's a happy environment. Everyone's uh, qualified, everyone's experienced, and everyone's licensed. But we just create this environment where you just love to come. That sounds amazing. And I wish I did that at my previous jobs. And I, I, I could have interviewed maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago, and I could have applied it. But if you're listening out there, pay attention to Dr. Rob. And, um, you know, you know he uh, talks about it. And, of course, um, one-on-one addiction as well to recovery and um, also behavior study. And uh, also, like, you know, you, know, you know, some of the other steps that you go through. Yeah. I mean, the first thing you do when you come in is, is an assessment. Let's assess you, find out where you are, psychological test, and we find out where your mindset is. And then we'll give you a couple of other tests. And then we decide if we're taking you on. So you have to have been in treatment before. You have to be a serious alcoholic or addict. um, And you have to want to get well. And then we only take on between four and six patients at any one time. And it's a 90-day program. So really, you've got a team of guys around you if you were going to come into the program 24 hours a day. Mm-hmm. And we walk you through, no matter where you are in the world, 99% of our work is telehealth, though you will have a sober coach in your area to take you out on weekends. So yeah, very good. Very excited about it. And I've uh, been doing it for years and years. But it's funny because uh, the last thing my daughter said to me 20 something years ago, when they took them off me was daddy, daddy, please stop drinking. And a couple of years ago, people kept saying, write a book, write a book, write a book. I'm like, oh, I don't know. So my wife's got it all together. I passed the information after information, little bits and bobs. Somehow she put it together in a book. And 
three years ago, my oldest daughter got in contact with me, the one who said, Daddy, Daddy, please stop drinking. And then we decided to call the book, Daddy, Daddy, please stop drinking. Oh, wow. So you got a book out called Daddy, 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 Please Stop Drinking. And uh, where can we find it? And uh, tell us a bit more about the book. That's interesting. Daddy, Daddy, Please Stop Drinking can be found on Amazon and Walmart. They're the two places you can buy it. It's $10. It's a great read. It's a thick read. It's not a two-minute read just because it's $10. It's like we don't take anything off the book. It goes straight in. Now, we give a lot of money every year away to alcoholics and addicts who are one-parent families who are struggling to try and get sober and clean, but they have children. We'll buy presents, we'll give gifts, we'll pay the rent, whatever we need to do to help you get up. So that's where that, that kind of money goes to, I mean, that's a, a, a little drop in the bucket, but it's basically my life. You know, this is what happened. This is how much stamina did. did. This is how much it hurt my family. Why my mom died of cancer a lot sooner than she should because of my homelessness. And she didn't know whether I was dead or alive. It's all that traumatic stuff that's turned around into a success story when, when I come to America. And it's funny because we were doing a photo shoot back in Manchester on the bench that I used to sleep on for 12 months. And it was free. It was a lot of people hanging around, homelessness. And I lay on the bench to do this. And the feeling, it was like, it was like a, an empty town with just quiet, whistling wind because everybody turned around and looked at me. And my wife, she didn't know me then, but she started crying. It was a haunting scene. And that's also in the book, the haunting scene of me curled up on this bench. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, that had to be something as well, too. And um, how does this program differ from the um, current um, alcoholic programs as well, too, like AA and um, and some of the others? How's, how does it differ? Well, we don't concentrate on the alcohol. We don't think the alcohol is the problem. You know, take away the alcohol, the drugs, the sex, the porn, the cake, whatever it may be, and I'm left with me. What's wrong with me? And what happens with alcoholics is you can go back. It's a predisposition. You can go back in your history. You will find alcoholics if you're the real deal in your family. And uh, we go back to the scene of the crime, back to your childhood. We clear all that stuff up because that's what's making you drink and use. Then we bring you into the future. We build a life for you. You get excited about life and away you go. And it sounds real simple because it is real simple. We do keep it simple. We're very arrogant. We're very cocky. We're very aggressive at what we do. You know, we don't speak to any outside sources apart from a few because, you know, we, we, we want our patients never, never to come back. In actual fact, we're the only company in the world that when you leave us, if you relapse while doing our program, we will refund your money. Nobody oh, wow. in the world does that. That's how, that's how uh, confident we are. And six and a half thousand patients down the line, and you know, we've not been able to refund yet. Wow, that's amazing. And of course, mm. we've had some people that relapse, they go back, they go back. And of course, your approach as well, too, getting in their face almost like it's a, almost sounds like um, basic training in the US Army. It's like a, a general getting your face. Yes. Lieutenant goes, yes. All right, soldier, stand up. And you just get in your yeah. face and like, straight up, chin up. And, um, you know, just, you know, just bark orders and everything. That's what it sounds like. It's, it's just an amazing approach. It is, you know. Was, yes, correct. There was, a, I was in my friend's house, Gordon Ramsay, hence the, hence the nickname I have. And uh, I remember talking to him while he was cooking for us. And he said, Rob, do you know why I'm the best chef in the world? And I said, hell, because you can cook really well. And he said, <laughs> nope, because I tell everybody I am. So that's what I started doing. I thought that, I thought that was mind blowing. It's like, if you're confident to say you're the best in the world and you can back it up, why wouldn't you shout from the hilltops? And that's mm -hmm. what I do. You know, I love my job. Or as we like to say here, I do what I love because I love what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, we really like going out there and helping people. Mm -hmm. and, and you're such an inspiration as well, too. And uh, where can people find you? Well, at Google search, Dr. Rob Kelly, or my website is robkelly.com. I spell my name with two Bs, R-O-B-B. -B. So robkelly.com, all the platforms, anything you like, just jump on there, email me, tag me, friend me. And uh, I want to put a shout out, really, because if there's a parent out there or a loved one, a wife or a husband, listen, I know when I was struggling that so many people didn't know where to turn to. They're getting so much information. I don't care if you come and work with us. I don't care. But I'll tell you what I do care about, you getting the help. So if you're a parent out there, a loved one, here's my personal cell phone number. You call me, five-minute chat with me. We'll put you in the right direction and it'll cost you nothing. It's 214 six zero 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 two one zero call me we'll put you right 99 percent, you won't come to us but we'll put you right we'll talk to you as a parent and we'll calm you down and tell you what to do 
free of charge. Always and, do that. And what's a and what's a phone number again? 214-600-0210. That is the number of call in case there's any out there that needs help or know someone needs help. Um, give Rob a call and um, do it right away. If you you or know someone, especially a loved one, that's having trouble with alcoholism as well. We're here with Dr. Rob Kelly here on the Mike Wagner Show, the Rob Kelly Recovery Group. And you've just been amazing, Rob. I love hearing your stories and just great inspiration. And um, just a few more minutes here. We'd love to have you back on 2021 Beyond. And um, what can we expect from you uh, for this year into the next? Well, we're going to keep working with people. We're going to do more television than on Oprah, the doctors I want to do more. I want my own reality show, which will be coming up next year sometime. And we just want to help as many people. And also we want to build a treatment center for the homeless in San Antonio, Texas, where people who have no money can come into treatment using my program and we'll get you well and send you back into the community. That's my dream. Anybody else have a dream like that? Call me. We'll talk. That is fantastic as well, too. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Rob? My biggest influence would be the guys that wrote the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, you know, Bill and, and Bob from the old days knew had it going on, along with Carl Young. They knew something we didn't know, and it was phenomenal. So they're my heroes as in business. Obviously, my, my hero personally is my dad. My father, who God bless him, uh, had a stroke about a year ago and doesn't really know who I am today. But, you know, I had good people around. We didn't have much money, to be honest, Mike, but we had a lot of love around us. So then people kind of inspire me. And everyone else fighting addiction. You're heroes, guys. <laughs> yes, that's right. And, of course, if anybody's battling addiction right now, give Rob a call and he'll give you number one minute. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? You know, guys, if you're out there struggling, if you're out there, you don't think you fit in or you don't think you're good enough, I want to apologize to you. Somebody put that there. You are capable of absolutely anything. What happened to when you was a kid? I want to be a fireman. I want to be an astronaut. What happened to them dreams? The society kicked them out of you. Get them back. You can do it. You can do anything you want. Look at me. I've proved it. Mm -hmm. Living proof indeed. You're amazing. Dr. Rob Killer, the Rob Killer Recovery Group, and also World Will Now Injection Consultant on the Mike Wagner Show, and also um, you know, book as well, too. A very big thank you for your time, Rob. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And before we go, tell us about your upcoming project. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people um, check out your program, purchase the books, or how do they call you for help? Uh, robkelly.com is on the line now search me call me uh, you'll find my number online you can mess me on facebook even if you're not a friend of mine and anything we can do buy the book it's got everything in the book it's we don't take a dime from that book it's not all the pros in the profits it's all the proceeds that anybody gives in and a much more that we do so stay in touch guys keep safe and we're only here to help that's our only aim that is the most important thing. Dr. Rob, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely terrific. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. I'm looking forward to having you on again. Thanks, Mike. Great to be here. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based on a Real-Life Relationship. It's just, it's well-written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers 
designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.